Welcome to this video on getting started using EndNote X9 for Mac users, although this video will also be relevant to Windows users. This video has been developed for students and staff by RCSI Library. In this session, you will learn what EndNote X9 is used for and how to download it, how to transfer references into your EndNote X9 library, and how to organize those references into groups. So what we're often asked here in the library is what is EndNote and how can I use it? So EndNote X9 is a reference management software product available through ORCSI by subscription, although you can use it on any of your own devices, and it allows you to do several things. So it allows you first and foremost to gather and store and manage all your references in one place. It also allows you to export those references from academic databases such as PubMed or CINAHL, as well as other web resources and bring them into EndNote by exporting them or adding them manually. It also allows you to insert references into Microsoft Word documents and to create bibliographies or reference lists in real time using an EndNote site while you write feature, um, which I'll be developing or showing in a later video. Ultimately, it allows you to save time when working on assignments or dissertations that require lengthy reference lists. So when working with EndNote X9, please do check out our LibGuide or information guide that we have on the topic of EndNote X9. We've um, one, as you can see, for um, EndNote Mac and one for EndNote uh, Windows, and they're avail both available from libguides.orcsi.ie forward slash EndNote X9. Uh, and uh, first of all, do make sure that you have EndNote properly installed on your laptop. And there is a box here on installing EndNote with um, some advice on how you can get started. And then you can follow through the examples on the guide, whether you're using a Mac or a Windows uh, computer to um, follow the steps to start using EndNote correctly. Once you have downloaded the EndNote program um, and selected the program, it should look like this across the top. So you'll need to set up your EndNote file. So click File, New, and then select where you want to save your EndNote library. This has downloaded your library and it has also downloaded the associated data file. You will need to keep these two products together on your PC in order to have access uh, and full usage of EndNote. So once you have EndNote X9 um, downloaded, you should open a new library and a new EndNote X9 library would look like this. It'll be um, blank, but um, once you start adding references in, all your references will appear here in um, all my references and you will collect research papers together in this one place. You can um, change the style um, just here to in the particular style that your school requests or set your own style. Um, please do limit yourself to only using one EndNote library that has been saved to your desktop um, rather than in a cloud-based folder because having a number of uh, EndNote libraries leads to the program not functioning correctly. Okay, so to send references um, into your EndNote X9 library, um, first you need to search for a, a book or article through a reliable information source such as an academic database that RCSI library facilitates access to and there's actually a full alphabetical listing of um, RCSI databases available from our LibGuides A to Z of resources and in this example we're going to use the database um, CINAHL so I'm going to go to the search box and I'm going to type in CINAHL and press go and it's recommended that you use um, Google Chrome or Firefox for this and um, I'm going to click on CINA full text above campus. You may be asked to enter your user credentials. Make sure they're the correct user credentials. And I'm going to wait for that. And sometimes it takes a few clicks to get into CINA. I click CINA here. Now I'm in CINA and I'm ready to conduct a search. In this example, my search topic is lung cancer screening. So I type that into the search box and click the search button on the right. You see results for this topic displayed beneath. Um, so I select 
the uh, folder icon on the right of the result I want to send to EndNote in order to save. And you will notice the folder icon uh, turn from blue to yellow to indicate that it is saved in the temporary folder. So I click folder on the top and you'll see those results displayed beneath. You can choose to transfer them individually into EndNote or you can click select all to send them in one go. So I click select all and then I click export on the right hand side of the screen. You can repeat a similar process in other academic databases or in Google Scholar but note that the wording for sending references to EndNote might vary a bit. So um, in this instance, um, try to select where possible the ORIS format, um, which is a format that works um, best with EndNote. So you'll see EndNote highlighted there. So I select that uh, ORIS format and then I click Save. And if using Chrome or Firefox, you will see the uh, references have been downloaded into a folder on the bottom left of the screen. And if you want them to transfer into your EndNote library, double click on that icon. So once you open that file, your downloaded references should begin to populate in your EndNote library, which remember is used to store all your references together in one place. Um, so you can see the detail of uh, the reference uh, here by clicking through the list. And if you want to attach an article um, to the details of this reference to kind of connect the two. So if a full text, you have two options. You can either click the find full text button here and EndNote will search for it, or you can um, attach the PDF here. Or your other option is to click and drag it and match it to the correct reference. You also have the option to organize uh, your references into uh, groups in order to collect them um, together in a way that's meaningful for you. Um, so to do this, you just select all your references that you want to insert into a group. And going to the top, you can uh, select groups and add references to and create custom group. And I will give that group a name such as cancer screening. And now all those references will be contained um, in that group. I can also add um, a reference manually if I like uh, under this option to add new reference. Um, you might decide to do this for a website or something which doesn't have a reference you can export dire directly into EndNote. There are also numerous um, styles available through EndNote, so your school might insist on a particular style and you can select one of the styles written there or you can select another style of which EndNote has hundreds that you can choose from and adjust yourself. So that concludes this video on getting started using EndNote. However, we'd strongly encourage you to um, read our dedicated EndNote X9 libguide um, on the link below. It contains a lot of the frequently asked questions about uh, EndNote and it's a very helpful step-by-step -step guide. Um, if you are based in RCSI York Street, um, you can attend one of our library bite-sized training sessions. Just check the calendar on the Moodle page linked below um, to check when our next session is on. Um, we'll also be adding other training videos to our YouTube channel. The link is just there, so keep a look out on that for any relation to EndNote or other areas. And um, if you're using EndNote and have any kind of uh, queries that you can't find easy answers to, uh, feel free to email us at library at rcsi.ie. Um, but please do attach uh, screenshots of what you're seeing, so we're best able to help you. So that's all for me. Thanks very much.